I'd like to introduce to you just a few of my favorite new and improved features in ArcGIS Pro. First up is smart mapping. ArcGIS Pro now includes the smart mapping functionality you may be familiar with from ArcGIS Online. Using an unclassed renderer and an interactive histogram slider, I can explore my data while I visualize it. Here, we're looking at the percent of the population that has downloaded music in the last 30 days. As I make adjustments on my histogram, I get immediate visual feedback and a spatial pattern begins to emerge. Smart mapping also means being able to visualize more than one variable at once. By setting a transparency field, in this case, the prevalence of young adults, I can add visual emphasis to those counties with the most young adults and focus on those areas that I'm most curious about, while also beginning to reveal a relationship between those two variables. ArcGIS Pro now also includes charting visualizations that complement my map. By creating a scatter plot of those same two variables, we can see that we do indeed have a slight positive relationship between young adults and music downloads. And this chart is connected to my map. It maintains the map symbology colors, and with dynamic selection, I can highlight and identify interesting features. I can also easily explore other relationships. For example, it looks like we have a strong positive relationship between hip hop fans and music downloads. Whereas for country music fans, it looks like the relationship has flipped. <laughs> Clearly, there's a lot to explore there. Next up is Living Atlas. ArcGIS Pro is a connected desktop. This means that working with data from the web is seamless. Not only can I access my own private portal and publicly available data, but I benefit from the wealth of Esri curated content available through the Living Atlas, like this world navigation vector tile base map. Vector tiles are beautiful, they're fast, and they're easily customizable. But the Living Atlas is not just about base maps. ArcGIS Pro also equips me with ready-to-use tools. Let's generate some service areas around some of my favorite local mu music venues in downtown Los Angeles. Ready-to-use tools means I no longer need to have my own elevation service to do a view shed analysis or to maintain my own network data set to solve a vehicle routing problem or to generate service areas. I can just run the tool and get the results that I need. The next improvement I'd like to tell you about is in the field of spatial analysis. We've made some significant advances in the site suitability workflow. Site suitability is a common analysis where we combine spatial information to identify suitable locations. Here, I would like to find the best location to hold a music festival. I've included some site and accessibility characteristics into this model, and I've combined them to generate a suitability surface. This is valuable information. The areas in green are well-suited, while the areas in red are not suitable. And this has typically been the last step in the analysis. But I still have a decision to make. Where is the best location for me to hold my festival? I need roughly one square mile. So visually, if I had to pick one location, I might be able to do that perhaps here but usually our questions are a lot more complicated than that, which is why I'm really excited to introduce to you the new Locate Regions tool. Locate Regions allows me to specify detailed size, distance, and even shape requirements, and interrogates my suitability surface to find the areas that best fit my needs. This time, I've asked Locate Regions to give me 10 potential locations for my music festival. 
With these precise results, I can now be confident when I make the decision of where is best. The last improvement I want to tell you about is an animation. Creating animations is now as easy as importing your bookmarks. I can add them to my timeline and then just hit play. Let's take a virtual visit to one of my proposed music festival sites and explore the beautiful landscape in 3D. Animations are a great way to tell a story. I can export this as a movie using one of these common file type presets, or I could share this as a web scene or as a package, because ArcGIS Pro really is a connected desktop, making data exploration, complex analysis, and storytelling smarter than ever. Thank you.